Good news, we've gotten the trailer for the fifth season of She-Ra and the Princesses of Power, and as your humble TV critic, it is my duty and privilege to analyze it. So let's break this down. Here we go. We start with Adora in a moment of vulnerability and existential confusion. She questions her ability to create her own destiny. What I love about this show is how it is always willing to examine the psyches of its characters. They are never cardboard cutouts. The show always goes deeper. It's honest and forthright. After seeing the armies of the Horde, we switch to a shot of a pensive-looking Katra. She does not look confident in regards to what is happening. Could a redemption arc be just around the corner? It is certainly far from impossible. She does not look like she knows what to believe anymore. After that, we get this very cool shot of a door on one side of a black hole, and a strange glowing silhouette on the other side. Could this be an enemy she has to fight? Maybe. But it looks a lot like She-Ra herself. Perhaps this is implying some sort of internal fight, her uh, super-powered self against her normal self. She will have to investigate what parts of herself are actually her, and what parts are just her powers. That could be very interesting and psychological. Speaking of her self-doubt, she says that she cannot do this alone, talking about her goals and ambitions. This is a serious statement, especially since there is really not that much dialogue in this trailer. It's mostly music and uh, clips of the action. But then the very sweet and tender bow comes to her and says that she will never be alone. And this is a very beautiful and intimate moment. And sure enough, the next time we see Adora, she is surrounded by her compatriots. Then we see our big bad, Horde Prime. He's threatening. He's ferocious. And apparently he's powerful enough to affect the trailer itself. Because when he snaps his fingers, the trailer goes to black. And then he, in his intimidating, gravelly voice, talks about saying goodbye to his oldest enemy as the screen shows a picture of Adora. Then, after a few quick scenes of action, we see Adora lamenting that the enemy has every advantage in this fight. And as she says this, we see Katra. Could she be helping the enemy? Perhaps. But I think it is more likely that she is considering offering aid to Adora that could possibly turn the tide in this climactic fight. Possibly more evidence of this could be offered by uh, Adora's expression. She looks very conflicted, like she does not know what she really wants to do. That seems much more like the expression of someone who has decided to finally help out her old enemy than the expression of someone who's come to destroy and devastate. Uh, I wish that more evidence on either side could be offered by Glimmer's expression, but sadly her back is turned so we can't see it. After that, we get Prime saying that no longer will She-Ra stand in his way and he appears to be trying his hardest to make good on that threat, as the next shots are of his armies firing at She-Ra and her team. Our protagonists struggle. They do their best to just stay alive. Then we have Katra greeting Adora with what sounds more like awkwardness than anything else. And then something interesting happens. We see a shift from Catra wearing her new costume to her wearing the old one that Adora is most comfortable with and most familiar with. Obviously, it could only be the case that Catra is trying to trick Adora, but I read this moment as very genuine, increasing the likelihood that Catra could indeed redeem herself this season. Also, I didn't even really notice this until I started editing together this video, but look at the difference in Katra's expression between the two shots. In the first one, she's wearing this confident smirk, and her ears are pointed more to the side, whereas in the second shot, uh, she's wearing more of a friendly smile on her face, and her ears are more 
perkily pointed up, perhaps indicating that she's trying to make herself appear more friendly, though whether this is genuine or not, I don't quite know. After this, Glimmer confronts Horde Prime and expresses her disgust with him, assuring him that he will never win. Though she is defiant, she seems shaken, casting doubt on our hero's ability to win this fight. However, not long after this, we see Prime shouting himself, seeming quite desperate. Perhaps our hero's uh, hopes for the future are not so dim after all. We only get a few more scenes after this, including an indication that Adora is going to be in serious, perhaps life-threatening peril. The trailer ends with her once more shouting, For the honor of Grayskull! Even though she sounds desperate, demonstrating how much more confident and determined she is compared to the confused person we saw at the beginning of the show. However, the most interesting shot for me here is Catra reaching out for Adora's hand. Setting this so close to the end of the trailer is to give it a level of importance and gravitas. I do not believe Noelle Stevenson and her team would just throw a shot like this in there and not want it to mean something. This is the firmest evidence we have thus far that Catra is going to be redeemed. I was hopeful about that before, but now I am very confident about it. I cannot wait to see that redemption. It will be great. So thank you all for watching. If you liked what you saw today, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Donate to my Patreon if you can you want to see more videos like this. I can't believe we're so close to the end of this show. It's uh, a shame that it didn't run for that long, but it's going to receive a proper conclusion, and that's good. I will be making a review analysis video when the season finally comes out, so be on the lookout for that. Anyway, tune in soon. Uh, my next video will be out sooner rather than later. Thank you all again. Adios, comrades.